Gil Boggs is going to the Olympics. No, not the games the United States is boycotting in Moscow, but the Olympics of ballet, which are being held in July in Varna, Bulgaria. Of all the dancers who tried out for the American team, Boggs got more points than anyone in the country, not just for his spectacular leaps and turns, but for the dramatic skills he displays in this modern ballet variation. This is my first real modern piece, heavy dramatic, and it has really grown on me. I'm very much into it, but I still was raised as a classical dancer, and that's what I breed on. Normally when you rehearse, you're rehearsing for an audience on stage. Here you're rehearsing for an audience, but you also have to face 14 judges from 14 different countries which are scoring you. So that goes through your mind. But the main thing I've been told is to forget about the judges and just perform and enjoy yourself and don't worry about the markings. <laughs> It is a special honor for Boggs to represent the United States. He dedicates much of his performance to the memory of his father. Well, he was killed in Vietnam War back in 1967 fighting for the United States. So, you know, there's a little sentimental value there. And just the fact I have been in touch with Mr. Carter. I mean, I've met before and I won a state prize, which he endorsed. So I'd like to do it for everybody. <laughs> Previous winners of the Varna gold medal include Mikhail Baryshnikov and American Fernando Bujones. And if Boggs brings home the gold, there will be a new name on the list. Baryshnikov, Bujones, and Boggs. At the Atlanta Ballet School in Buckhead, Terry Anzer, Action News.